when a Kenyan tells you that a distance is walkable, think twice or pull out your Google Maps. <laughs> Either pull out your running shoes because you are going to yes. be going to run. Because we've walked for quite some time ever since we entered the estate. And then it was a, just walk up and there, 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 then you go left. Yeah. And so where you are. We are where the super rich hides. They're super super. <laughs> In Karen, this is Ngong View Estate. Ngong View Estate. But... <laughs> yeah, the fresh air is fresh. It is. It's paid, <laughs> so you can tell that it's premium fresh air. <laughs> Not regular fresh air. Not regular. Because everywhere is green. <laughs> like, eh, these guys are serious with their lives. You don't see any, any house. Like, oh, you're going to admire now. Hello, boys. We are heading to. We are going to the KCB Leadership Center. Mm -hmm. This madam here, she's going to start the leadership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to start the leadership. I don't know. Other things. other things of leadership. But with leadership involved. But, and the way, the way this environment looks, you're supposed to come in a Uber. You, ah, not in an Uber, in your she's car. She's so rich. She's very rich for walking. But then hey. they, when they see you, they will look at you like an intruder. <laughs> It's good for exercise. Yeah. A very nice, quiet place. Good By for exercise. So. Eh, but my heart has settled. I was complaining. The money for accommodation, too much. Environment is worth it. It's worth it. it. It's worth it. The air smells different. <laughs> the air smells different. Uh, yeah. The roads, you uh -huh. can tell. You can yeah. tell. Mazima, Mazima. Got if to go in the war. What? I like a lunch. I like a lunch. I like a lunch. I that's Ngong View Boulevard. So for us, we are on Ngong View Road. These are my fellow trainees. What? Hey. Guys, we are not reaching Kesibia. That is it. We are going to the KCB Leadership Center. It is the one who told us it was walkable. But uh, yeah, yeah, when a Kenyan tells you that a distance is walkable, not think even twice even. or pull out your Google not Map. Not <laughs> Either pull out your running shoes because you are going to Yes. Run. Because we've walked for quite some time ever since we entered the estate. And then it was a, just walkable. And, and there, there. Then you go left. Yeah. And serious walking in the north of <laughs> Amona walk. Hey, and we have somebody. bags, we have luggage. And we have luggage. Yo. <laughs> so when a Kenyan tells you it's walkable, mm -hmm. pull out your Google map or Find be out ready. the kilometers they are talking about. Yes, talking and about be five sure. And then it's walkable. <laughs> <laughs>
good people i just love how easy mpesa makes life in nairobi for example i told my friend here when she was coming from uganda it's okay you can cross without any kenya money just put your money on your ugandan mobile money when you cross to nairobi we will be able to get a safari com you transfer your money there because they have a good rate and she just crossed without any cash and she reached this side you just transferred it to the mpesa very secure you know and she's paying for the room right now for her hotel room with just mpesa totally cashless yeah 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 that cashless life is exciting Mazima ate mkwano wotake na mwevi ilinjo jako nyiza Ziga zija kukono neka Thank you. I love mirrors. I can talk in the mirror. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, that's what the room at KCB leadership center looks like. I feel it's okay. The place is calm, quiet, like serene is the right word, right? Quietness, I feel, <laughs> is an underestimation. The place is serene. Martha will be asking Martha about her stay here. She will be reviewing for me their services. If they are not good, I'll tell you. <laughs> but they really look organized. The place looks cute. Yep. Me now I'm going to go back because I have to go to upper upper hill. Someone is waiting for me in upper hill. Yep. See you in upper hill. Wow. Martha has settled in peacefully. The place looks calm like I'm so my heart is so at peace. I know she's okay now. I have to go back to my business. I was supposed to go to Sitam. Someone invited me for service at Sitam. But I'm sorry. I don't know if you're watching this video. I'm sorry I could not make it. I was supposed to pick my sister from the station and bring her to Karen. Mm. And bring her to Karen. Then help her around Safari Com. Uh, breakfast, uh, check her in and all that so that she's settled. You know there is naturally a panic or some kind of tension that comes when you're in a different country you don't know where to start from so I really didn't want her to be stuck when I already know something about Nairobi so Sitam, Sitam uh, which side did you tell me I've forgotten but I'll be coming next Sunday I'll be in Sitam, Sitam, Sitam yeah thank you for watching this video It's been like a 30 minutes walk from the leadership to the main gate of the estate. From the leadership center to the main gate of the estate. Wow. <sighs> oh, 
it's a, a chill Sunday. Good morning from Nairobi, Kenya. It is the 16th of July. What a great Sunday. So I entered, I left home at around 6. I entered Nairobi because I sleep at the outskirts of Nairobi. Yeah, I entered Nairobi yeah, to be here at uh, the Mash School offices by 8. Actually, I reached by 7.30. I'm waiting for one, one of my friends. She's coming from Uganda. Yeah, she's come to Nairobi for training. Yeah. But the bus has delayed for like, I think over 40 minutes. But they're soon going to be here. I'm sure they're not going to exceed nine. So, come with me. I'm going to be, now I'm the guide in Nairobi. Me who has been getting lost in Nairobi, I'm going to be guiding someone around there. <laughs> around Nairobi but hey I'm going to do my best because I feel as long as I know where archives is I can start Nairobi from there yeah the bus is here down there so let me go pick her so that she doesn't feel she doesn't get stuck My champion buddies, the journey from Uganda, Kampala, Uganda to Nairobi, Kenya is 15 to 17 hours. And my sister here, for 17 hours, she's not eating anything. Actually, for over 20 hours, because she's she tells me she last ate lunch in Uganda. So I had to first take her for uh, breakfast uh, uh, before we continue with anything. Like me in Nairobi, I can't do anything without eating. I can't. <laughs> We are done with breakfast. We need a safari comb line now. My Ugandan people, I didn't know. So all safari comb shops don't give people. If you're not using national ID for Kenya, they uh, if you're using passport, you have to go to the main center. And for us, we have passport cases, so we have to go to main center, which is at Moy Avenue. But others won't be able to work on you.